Well, hello everyone once again, and a very, very good evening. It is my once again pleasure and privilege to be amidst all of you. We are just at this point in time holding a very, very live batch, and I would have the privilege of running down through vocabulary words. And emphasizing an accentuated vocabulary, I just want to say, you can always get an edge and extra scores. For instance, if you're aiming at seven, you'll get eight. And if you're aiming at eight, you might get nine bands. All you need is more articulation and high frequency vocabulary that would definitely help you to attain the perfect and a classic score in the very first attempt and reach your dream destination and make a difference to your life and career. So today, I would like to focus on 10 hottest words and yes, in just five minutes, you can learn every day 10 words. And in a month's time, you have 300 new words in your vocab pool, which is more than sufficient for you to do so much more and obtain the best language skills. So the first word I'm going to invite here with you is cogent, which means convincing. For instance, there are few world leaders who indeed are quite cogent in their speech. And Barack Obama is perhaps one of those. Number two, I would like to give you would be burnish, which means get the perfect polishing. For instance, we can say that after, yes, acquiring good training in IELTS, you can burnish your skills and you can fly globally and take over admission into top university and college and make the most of it. Number three I would like to look at is buttress, which means support, a physical support or bolstration. For instance, the way pillars bolster the building or buttress the building, there are few friends in our lives also who are always there to buttress us through thick and thin in every aspect and sphere of life. Now the next I'm going to be looking at is indeed is compendium, which means conclusion. It is quintessential on your part that whenever you give a speech, you should always come up with its requisite compendium in minimum 35 to 40 words, which will definitely give it a finishing touch. Now the next I'm going to be looking at is, which is constigation, that means severe punishment. We can see that obviously in the United States of America and most of the Western countries, laws are quite stringent and very strict. And there is a very good constigation, and which is why people have a fear of law, that the law is frontier. Even it is applicable in Middle Eastern states also, where there is such a constigation, and people can roam freely, even in the midnight also, and there is no risk of any kind of assault over there. Next, I'm going to be looking at is conciliatory, which means to reconcile or to match up. I think it is so important for India to always have reconciliation with its neighboring countries because it is definitely unfortunate for India that it's surrounded by such evilish neighbors and India is always sandwiched between these two opponent forces responsible for spreading violence and violence in the world. But still, diplomatically, India needs to maintain conciliatory association with these countries. Next I'm going to be looking at is caustic, which means very, very sarcastic. I think it's so important for people to be liberal-minded, to diffuse insularity, and never make any caustic remarks on anyone. Because no one is whitewashed in this world. Let's stop hunting perfection in people and planet. And which is why I'm sure with this new approach, we will diffuse backwardness, orthodox thinking, insularity, and only then we become modern in real sense because fashionable clothes don't make us ultra modern. It's just the mindset. So that's why it's so quintessential on our part to understand what means like being ultra modern all about. Few next I'm going to be looking at, which indeed is commensurate, which means in accordance to or in proportion to. For instance, whenever you people will be studying and flying abroad, taking over great jobs, your futuristic emoluments and salary packages would commensurate in accordance to your zeal, potential, your hard work, resilience, and your ability to think out of the box and take up every job with pride and dignity. So that is why you need to work on your pragmatic skills and truly go global. Next indeed, I would like to look at his here, which is bombastic, which is very lavish, ostentatious. For instance, we have seen film stars across the world have got quite a bombastic lifestyle. For instance, Hollywood, and if you look at Los Angeles and Las Vegas, these are very, very bombastic places of the United States, the cities and states which never sleep. And I'm sure these are very, very hot and happening places on planet. Few next I'm going to be looking at, and the next one I'm going to be giving to you will be deride, 
which means ridicule. For instance, we have seen how politicians try to deride each other in parliament, and I believe that they should try to have decency and a code of conduct, and they should never exceed, because if the lawmakers become the lawbreakers, what worst we can anticipate from the common people of the country. So that is why the saying goes in, example is better than precept. Easier said than done, I'm sure. First you do yourself and let the world follow you. And I'm sure if you're right, if you're appropriate and doing the right thing at the right time, people will follow you. And I have converted all my critics into my followers all these years and that's very important. I finally zero down to the last word of the evening and the word is connoisseur. That means expert in a given field whose opinion matters. And usually, we can apply this in food and beverage industry, in music industry, in certain other industries also. But all in all, we can use this word for an individual who is expertised to give his opinion like a perfect judge of anything. So we have seen so many connoisseurs in the world and they have made great contribution. If you want to succeed in the world, you need at least one person to judge you, scrutinize you, and to correct you, and to influence you, who can definitely be a great muse to you. So we all need, certainly, certain connoisseurs who can make immense contribution to our professional career. This brings us to the end of the vocabulary lecture. I just wish you listen and practice to perfection and make a big I mean, a great difference to that. And I'm sure you can always be able to learn and you can do so much more with this vocabulary. And truly, you have a great, great future in times to come. My heartiest best wishes with all of you. Thank you so much. May you all have a very, very pleasant evening. Thank you.